Hey YouTube, it's Jurak Master with my Flame Bell deck. I promised this to you guys in my Jurak talk number 8. So, I'm mainly posting this on here because I think it'll help you guys play the Jurak Flame Bell deck better. So, I'm just posting a regular Flame Bell deck. Also, my monster lineup is, and actually the whole deck, is very similar to... Lord Solar 6075s, I just realized that after I finished making it. Um, it's very, very similar. Um, you should really check his channel out, guys. Check out his. Uh, he did his in two parts. It's a very good deck. Um, I actually think his is better than mine, because he plays Flame Bells a lot more than I do. So he's got more experience with it and built it better, probably worked on it a lot more. So you guys should check his out, too. I just like the fact that mine is a little smaller. His is 43 cards. Mine's like 42. It's one card smaller. So I made a few changes compared to his. Um, so I actually didn't mean to make it so similar. It's just, it's a Flamville deck. They end up pretty similar. Um, a few minor changes here and there. But a lot of Flamville decks end up similar. So, uh... Check his channel out, guys, for some variety on the Flame Bells. His is very good as well. So, I'm going to get started on the deck. Three Fire Dogs. Pretty obvious. If you're running Flame Bells without three Fire Dogs, just give up now. Until you get those Fire Dogs. Sorry, guys, if I offend anyone with that comment, but it's pretty true. Um, three Flame Bell Magician. My reasons for having three is the same reason for Lord Solars. Three is good. You need those. It's your level four tuner. But I don't get why people would run less than three. Sure, you search it with Fire Dog, but you don't. It's just good to have. I don't see why you guys would run less. So, two Shaman. He makes Deity. Deity's really good. One Saber because. He also helps make Deity, and he can come out as a 2100 beater. Very helpful. Baby, because it does what Baby does. And Archer, it also has a good effect. Level 3, Pyro Tuner. Um, it's just really helpful. So, you, then you got your last guy, Searcher. He also makes, um, whatever, uh, Formula Synchron. So... Those are the flame bells for the deck, guys. And the non flame bells are one Lila to hit the back row, three Raiko, hit anything. And those are good for milling. Milling is very helpful. One Zephros, because it makes a lot of plays. I'll go over those later. And one Card Trooper, because it mills and lets you draw and runs over things. Very good card. I don't run two because I didn't want to make it a bigger deck, and honestly, it lets your opponent damage you after you use it, so it's not the best thing because then you end up losing more life points, which is the last thing you need to do, is continually lose life points and then rely on one big play that they can just stop with one card, and then you're basically done for then instead of having life points to sit on until your next big play. So, that's a reason for running one card trooper. Two lets them do too much damage and everything. So you have three rekindling in the spells. Three gold sarcophagus. As I mentioned in my Jurak Flame Bell build, I believe. The updated one. Um, run three when you either mill, which this deck does with five different cards. Or actually six, including Charger Light Brigade. Or... You need to have something. Absolutely have to have it as fast as possible. This is a good card to use for that. So I mill. I don't need rekindling as fast as possible. I'd like it. But this is mainly to keep it out of the graveyard and come to my hand eventually. Um, Charge of the Light Brigade, the other card that mills, it searches too. Good card. Mind Control because we synchro. That's what we do. Monster Reborn. Dark Hole, True Nade, and Book. That's it for the spells. 
traps are one solemn, two solemn warning, mirror force, two D prison, two bottomless, two compulse, torrential, and one trap stun. I was thinking about uh, running two traps done, but I do have solemn judgment in here. And I thought about that, and I'm like, ah, uh, if they negate my rekindling, I'll solemn it. I don't need another trap stun. It just makes the deck a little bigger, and I don't want to do that in this case. Some cases, that's good. In this case, I thought it was bad. So, on to the extra deck. I have two Flame Vault Deities, one Trishula, two Stardust, one Scrap Dragon, one Red Dragon Archfiend, one Black Rose, one Bryonic, one Urquizos, one Gaia Knight, one Cataster, one Android, one Formula Synchron, and one Utopia. Honestly guys, even though this deck does spam synchros, like, a lot, um, I honestly don't really feel it's necessary to run Librarian, because it just, you can, in fact, I don't see a reason not to run it over Android here, but I don't have mine yet, and it's not necessary, typically you push for a game with Rekindling, not use it to draw cards, um, it's just kind of not worth trying to draw with Rekindling, um, I mean, if you can, you might draw into another Rekindling if you're short on game. But that's about the only reason I can think of running it, or using it. So now, on to Zephyros, who I find is a very good card in this deck. Um, he bounces things back for you, so say you want to use Lila again, you can use Lila again if it's still alive, instead of waiting another turn, in which they'll probably kill it. Um, if you don't want to take damage from Card Trooper, uh, it being an attack position, and you can't afford the damage. After you're done milling, say this is in your grave, you've attacked, use its 1900, and then send this back, bring this out in attack or defense, whichever one, because this way it's either an attack, so they can't run over it, or in defense, so you don't take the damage. Um, uh, continuing on Zephyros, if you rekindle, and you don't have the right number of tuners, or you don't have the right levels, because you had to rekindling early because you were in a pinch, uh, he can bounce back one of the people, so that way, instead of being removed because they're useless to you, they go back to your hand so you can use them later. Or you can use him to manipulate levels. Say you want to make a level 7, like, you need a Black Rose, and you've got, say, Card Trooper, because they decided not to let you draw, and you summoned Archer. You can bounce this back, and then make your Black Rose, right there. So, he's good for level manipulation and everything. Um, he can also help with making other level 4s for level 8s, whatever. Uh, helpful with Utopia, bring it back. You have more level 4s. Utopia's in here for the same reason, kind of, as Zephyros. Um, if you have not enough tuners, and you're going to end up wasting people, because you can't make one of your level 8s, go into this, save your guys from being removed from play. They're not back in the graveyard, but they can be if you use this thing's effect. So that's why he's in there, to save your people from being removed. Um... That's basically it for the deck, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's not Jurax, but it's to help you guys with your Jurax. So, I hope it helps you play Jurax Flamevels, and I hope that you like the Flamevel deck itself. So, thanks for watching, guys, and peace out, YouTube.